Dallas City staff told council members today that defining short-term rentals like those listed on Airbnb and Verbo as lodging would eliminate about 95% of the rentals operating in the city. The Quality of Life Committee spent an hour discussing the legal ramifications of that behind closed doors. Fox News' Lori Brown joins us live in Dallas. Lori. Grace, after years of inaction about short-term rentals, the city is now just weeks away from a decision that could eliminate short-term rentals from operating in neighborhoods zoned for single or multifamilies. Without any open debate, the Quality of Life Committee agreed to move the discussion to the full city council in two weeks. For years, many Dallas residents have been campaigning for homes, not hotels, after they say Airbnb and Verbo rentals have brought loud parties, trash, and even shootings. Now, the City Plan Commission has recommended that the city define short-term rentals as a lodging use. That would make them illegal in residential neighborhoods, but legal in these commercial areas colored pink. The Assistant Director of Code Compliance told council members that would make about 95% of the 1,700 rentals the city knows about illegal. Here you have the label of closing the barn door after the horse has left. We asked constitutional law attorney David Cole if the city has the legal right to eliminate the rentals from neighborhoods. Cole explained that the issue gets into an area of the law called a regulatory taking. The government hasn't actually taken and is not planning to actually take anybody's home away from them or rental room or whatever away from them, but it's cre passing laws that make it impossible to use them for what the owner intended to use them for when they bought the property. That could be viewed by the courts as a violation of the Fifth Amendment. It says you cannot take someone's property without due compensation. But Cole says the courts also give cities a lot of latitude when it comes to zoning. Cities and states in our country have what's called a general police power, which is doesn't really have anything to do with the police. It's just an ability to have order, to have fire departments and traffic lights and that kind of thing. And it's, the city here will say, uh, we're just doing what cities always do, which is have regulations about where you can do certain things and, and how you do certain things in the interest of safety and having a good economic environment. Cole says city council members will have to decide what is best for residents, knowing a judge may make the ultimate decision years later. We are representative government. If everybody's complaining about this, we have to represent our constituents. And maybe we do just do the best job we can and face the fact that litigation is coming the full city council is now set to discuss the ordinance that would define short-term rentals as lodging at its briefing Tuesday, April 4th.